Hizi ni habari za Ruben FM na Denson Moruri. Sasa tu asubuhi saa za Afrika ya Mashariki popote pale ulipo msikilizaji hujambo na karibu. Spika wa kaunti ya Nairobi Beatrice Elati amelekea mahakamani kutaka kuruhusiwa kuchukua majukumu ya gavana Mike Sonko ambaye alifungiwa nje ya ofisi yake kufuatia tuhuma za ufisadi. Spika Elati alifika mahakamani hiyo jana akitaka kufafanuliwa wakina iwapo sheria inamruhusu kuchukua majukumu ya ugavana. Na kupitia kwa wakili wake Tom Ojenda spika huyo alisema kwamba ukosefu wa gavana Sonko umeleta pengo kubwa katika majengo ya City Hall. Naibu msajili wa kesi katika mahakama ya juu Daniel ole kiwa aliagiza kwamba kesi hiyo itasikizwa mwachi tano mwaka huu na kushauri kwamba itakuwa vyema iwapo pande zote mbili zitafahamisha ama zitafahamishana kuhusu kesi hiyo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na kina Raudi Mrailo Odinga wamesema ripoti ya jopo kazi la maridhiano BBI ni yake kuu ni kuunganisha wa Kenya na kuimarisha uchumi wa nchi hii. Wakizungumza katika hafla ya mombi nchini Marekani, Rais Kenyatta alikana madai kwamba uhusiano wa kirafiki baina yake na kina Raudi Mrailo Odinga ni wao binafsi na wa kujinufaisha kisiasa. Viongozi hao wawili walikuwa wageni wakuu katika hafla ya mombi ya wa ya 68 yaliyofanyika hiyo jana na ni kwamba walitajwa kama viongozi wa kwa mfano duniani with no statement with nothing on the stairs of the office of the president the media was out there we shook hands and that one single moment changed the whole country I realize that uh, the country is bigger than all of us. But what is being tell is that we have a history together. When we met, we took journey down the memory lane. This is the nation where we started as a country. The Building Bridges Initiative, as we call it in Kenya, is a homegrown solution for a divisive political culture that has often sparked electoral crises over the last 30 years. But the pumps are going to go down. But the phone is infested with crocodiles. <laughs> so I told my brother, let's build bridges so that we can be able to cross the Jordan into Canada. So, building bridges, bridges to fight corruption, bridges to unite the people, bridges to create a friendship among our people. Tukisonga mbele ni kwamba mamlaka ya ukusanyaji ushuru nchini KRA imesitisha kwa muda usijulikana kaunti zote za hospitali ya Nairobi Women's nchini. Katika baro ya kwa hospitali ya KRA inadai kuchukua hatua hiyo kufuatia madai yaliyobuliwa na wagonjo kuhusu mfumo wa malipo ya matibabu katika hospitali ya taarifa kutoka uh, uh, taarifa uh, za kampuni zote za bima zili ama tayari kampuni zote za bima zilizokuwa zinatoa bima za afya katika hospitali hiyo zilijiondoa siku ya Jumatano hii hospitali hiyo umesema ni pigo kubwa kwao na kuongezea kwamba wanafanya kila juhudi kusulisha tatizo hilo uchunguzi unaendelezwa ili kubaini madai ya kuongeza gharama ya matibabu hospitalini humo Honestly, and even a bigger dent is a repetitional issue uh, granted that you know your business partner says look there are administrative issues that i need us to sort out first those people already admitted in the wards in our facilities they will be treated in the normal way um, and they'll go home and they'll settle the bills what ha- will not happen is that now we cannot see any of their insured in the outpatient or in the inpatient however we are open to business with all our other partners other insurance companies and other corporates that did not suspend their accounts unaskiza ruben siku ya jumani wiki ijayo umetangazwa siku ya kitaifa ya kupumzika kwa wakenya wote akitoa tangazo hilo mkuu tumisho wa joseph kinyo amesema kwamba hatua hiyo imechukuliwa ili kutoa nafasi kwa wakenya wote kutoa heshima zao kwa aliyekuwa rais wa pili wa taifa ili marehemu daniel arap moi tangaza mbalo tayari 
imeweza kuchapishwa katika gazeti rasmi la serikali. Aidha Kinywa amesema kwamba wakenya wataruhusiwa kutazama mwili wa marehemu katika majengo ya bunge la kitaifa kuanzia Jumamosi hii hadi Jumatatu wiki ijayo. Baada ya muda zake inatarajiwa kuandaliwa siku ya Jumane katika uwanja wa Kasarani kabla ya kusafirishwa nyumbani kwake eneo la Kabarak siku ya Jumatano wiki ijayo kwa hafla ya mazishi. That the state funeral and the ceremony is leading up to the internment of former President Moi, Mze Moi, will be as follows. One, to allow our nation to reflect on President Moi's momentous role and achievements and to accord all Kenyans the opportunity to participate in public viewing and the paying of last respect to the former head of state and government. The body of the President Daniel Atoritish Arab Moi shall lie in state in Parliament from Saturday, 8th February 2020 to Monday, 10th February 2020. Second, turn to enable every Kenyan to participate in the celebration of the life of, the, of President Moi, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior, on the recommendation of this steering committee, has declared Tuesday, the 11th day of February 2020, a public holiday of general observance throughout the Republic of Kenya. Unaendelea kutegia habari za Ruben FM na Dance. Na katika kaunti ya Narok ni kwamba wanafunzi watano na zuiliwa na maafisa polisi katika kaunti hiyo kwa madai ya kujihusisha na biashara ya bangi huku ikisemekana kwamba uh, wanatumiwa na watu mashuhuri kuendeleza biashara hiyo ambayo ni haramu nchini. Idara ya kabila na miadarati katika kaunti hiyo imewataka wazazi kuwa makini na wanao pia kuwa wangalifu kuhusiana na marafiki wao ili kudumisha nidhamu. Mtindo huo watoto kutumiwa kuuza bangi unasemekana kuathiri wengi kielimu jambo ambalo limeungwa mkono na wakazi katika kaunti hiyo. Now using them to traffic the drugs from one point to another. Tuliweza kuzika mama akiwa ameuawa na bwana yake kwa sababu ya hiyo bangi. Mtoto kuendea pasa tikiti takakaa mimi nikatoka nikashindwa hii mtoto amefanya nini? Kutokea nikakuta mama mwingine akaniambia mtoto ameshikwa na pangi. Na pangi si yake. Huyu mama amengangana ana watoto nane, ana shida, ni mujane, taabu na mtu anamuingisha kwa tabuzi. Tisa tisa. Tukiachana na Narok sasa tuelekea sasa katika kaunti ya Kakamega ambapo vifo vya wanafunzi 11 waliofariki baada ya mkanganyiko katika shule ya msingi ya Kakamega siku ya Jumatatu vilitokana na kukosa hewa ya kutosha. Hayo ni kwa mujibu wa ripoti ya uchunguzi ya maiti iliyotolewa na mwanapatholojia mkuu wa kaunti ya Kakamega Dickson Mchana. Baadhi ya wazazi wametoa hisia mseto kuhusiana na ripoti hiyo huku wengine wakilalamikia ufadhili kutoka kwa serikali kwenye mpango ama mipango ya mazishi. Kumbukwe misao wa inatajwa kufanyika hii leo katika uwanja wa Bukungu na ni kwamba wazazi watakubaliwa kuchukua miili ya watoto wao kwa shughuli za mazishi. Kusababishwa na kukosa hewa ajili ya kulaliana. Kwa kimombo tunaita suffocation water and actually we are, we are told that uh, our daughter had a difficult breathing. That's why he, we couldn't get him. Jambo la kushangaza katika hiyo postmortem ila kuna damu yote mtoto ni white to white cells sasa tunashangaa ni mako kanisema tutashughulikiwa next week kwenda jana meeting tunaitwa tunashtuliwa watoto wanatolewa friday hiyo friday tunawaambia tu kwa tumejipanga mbona mnatushtua hivi so we are just wondering kama walisema watachukua huu mzigo wote hiyo ndio usaidizi walikuwa wanataka kutupa kama watoto wazazi wa hawa watoto So I'm just of the opinion that uh, ata hii usaidizi ingekaa. Kwenye habari ne? Na kwingine kwa ni kwamba mwakilishi wa serikali ukanda wa bonde la Ufa Johnston Ipara amedhibitisha kunaswa kwa magunia moja ya ngano iliyokuwa imeharibika. Ngano hiyo inasemekana kuwa ni kwa kwenye jua kabla ya kupelekwa sokoni. Ipara aliagiza ngano hiyo kuharibiwa baada ya kuinasa kwa ushirikiano na maafisa wa polisi. Wakulima wa ngano wametakiwa kwa makini wakati wa kushughulikia ngano na kuzuia hali kama hiyo. Aidha miliki wa ngano hiyo imekamatwa na anatarajiwa kufikishwa mahakamani pata habari kutoka kwa wakaji wa mji huu kwamba kuna watu ambaye walikuwa wanaanika ngano karibu gunia moja ambaye ilikuwa imeharibika asante sana darmas kutumiwa kwa matumishi ya binadamu au mnyama
the gra- grounds yenye watu wanaanika ma- chakula tauni hii sio mali pasafi afadhali tufanye kazi kwa mashamba na immediately baada ya kuvuna NCPB waiko na dryers na ziko ta- standby kuwasaidia anytime ale wasibui wataalamu waliweza kuangalia na tumekubaliana na walio kuwa na hii mali wamekubali kwamba hii aribiwe hapa sasa tutaondoka moja kwa moja twende kama kilomita tano tuweze kuharibu hii mali yote ningependa kutoa imizo kuwa wakati unavuna tafadhali hakikisha chakula yako umehifadhi kwa njia nzuri na tunataka kutoa onyo pia kwa watu wetu wenye tabia na nia ya kutoheshimu maisha ya watu wetu na kutumia njia rahisi kutajirika kwamba maisha ya watu wetu ni ya maana sana uchumi yetu haiwezi kajengwa na watu wagonjwa habari za kina utendete na ufasaha sikiliza Ruben FM kuanzia saa moja asubuhi hadi saa tatu usiku na wanahabari wetu walobobea na na hatimaye katika kaunti ya Turkana ni kwamba Professor Thomas Akuja amelekea mahakamani kupinga hatua ya bodi ya chuo kikuu cha Masinde Muliro bewa la Turkana kumsimamisha kazi kama mwalimu mkuu wa chuo hicho kwani anadai kwamba hatua hiyo ni kinyume cha sheria itakumbukwa kwamba bodi ya chuo hicho ilimsomesha kazi ya kuja kwa madai na kumteua Frederick Kasali ama Kasili kama kaimu mwalimu mkuu wa Steve, na Steven Odebero kama mkuu wa kitengo cha fedha na Beatrice Adango kama mkuu wa mawasiliano chuo hicho kimeonekana kuzingirwa na maafisa wa polisi waliofunga ofisi za kuja maofisi ya kuja baada ya kuachishwa kazi so decided to send him on leave and appointed um, the acting principal and also appointed uh, a deputy principal and of course uh, brought back uh, or reinstated professor Odebero because we want to caution our wherever the, those instructions are directed to that it is very wrong for them to listen to a person or anybody who is not entrusted it's just a few disgruntled element and which is normal with any uh, higher education institution or any area where management goes on when there is change of management because of one reason or the other there will be those who want to resist in one way or the other but kwa habari za kina utendeti na zinazoaminika tigia stationi ya Ruben FM saa 1 asubuhi hadi saa 3 usiku Nam, uh, dakika ni 13 baada ya saa tatu asubuhi msikilizaji na kufikia hapo ndipo naitimisha habari za Ruben FM awamu ya saa tatu Jina langu ni Mururi Denson. Tukutane sana kamili kwenye muktasari wa Ruben FM. Kweli kwa sasa. <tune> Thank you so much for watching guys. Tukutane saa 7. Mm, tukutane saa 7 kamili.